Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going over an exciting partner project of mine. They are called Smart Layer. They have a very super experienced team. They've been around a while. They have a highly technical product. And then up here, they will be launching a token pretty soon, maybe within the next month, two months, I would guess. Definitely soon. If you want to register early to get access to the whitelist, they might be doing some sort of pre-sale, then you can do that. The links are here at the top right of their website, smartlayer.network. Let's just dive right in what is this project so they are a token centric architecture smart layer is a suite of technologies that unlocks the power of ERC 560 5169 and smart tokens to deliver a token centric web so at this point you're probably thinking what is this ERC 5169 so as we know there are ERC 20 tokens those are the basic ethereum tokens so when somebody says they bought or sold ETH that's what they bought, the ERC-20 token. Then there's ERC-721 tokens. Those are non-fungible tokens, NFT. So when somebody sends you an NFT or you send them something, you're sending an ERC-721 token. Then there is this one here, ERC-20, uh, ERC-5169. So what is it? It is a new standard that introduces the concept of executable crypts within, scripts within Ethereum tokens. This development allows tokens to carry their own logic and behavior, transforming them from static digital assets into dynamic entities. Now let's go over some examples of where you can use these ERC-5169 tokens and specifically what these executable scripts are. So one example is you could, it's a signed script that could provide tips from a browser wall. It's like if you're on Twitter, you like somebody's tweet, you want to tip them, then this will be the token standard that you tip them with, ERC-5169 tokens. Additionally, you could use it as a script that allows users to interact with contract functions not normally provided by a wallet, like a mint function. So that's pretty cool. It allows you to mint Mint new tokens within this contract as opposed to having the, de the dev go back to it and change the contract address and all that stuff. Additionally, it provides an extension that is downloadable to the hardware wallet within an extension framework, such as a ledger, for instance, that could enable the wallet to interact with a specific dApp or support a new type of token that was not previously supported. Additionally, it could be a script that operates IOTs and allows a user to control a smart lock using a token in their wallet. Now, what is the actual smart layer, which is the name of the project? Well, the smart layer is a tokenized incentive network of service nodes. It includes a blockchain, anchoring nodes, and service nodes. Nodes, as you all know, so when I send a transaction to you, when I send an ERC-20 token to you over the Ethereum network, it passes through a certain number of nodes. Whoever is running the nodes either approves or disapproves the transaction as being valid or invalid. If it gets a certain number of approvals, like seven or 10 or three, then the transaction is officially approved and you receive the token that I just sent you. So those are nodes. Now let's go into the white paper to see Dive in a little more. So describe the smart layer as the missing layer in blockchain. So the initial token, the ERC-20 token, those give you governance votes. They will essentially sometimes give you rewards for participating in an activity, certain extra privileges, premium, uh, premium rights, sort of stuff like that. This is the missing layer. These tokens are actually used inside the actual activity that you are doing. They're used within the activity. So to give you a little example of that, like car ownership smart token, this is a possible use case for this right here, the smart layer. So within a car, you could pay for insurance with this token. You could pay for service. You could pay for maintenance. You could get oil changes, etc., all within the smart layer. Now I'm going to show you exactly what these executable scripts are, because you might be wondering just what is that exactly? I'm going to do it in the NFT form, so I'm sure you're familiar with typical NFTs. They are JPEG images of characters from a game or characters from a meme coin. You buy the JPEG image on OpenSea. Now this project, Smart Layer, they have some of those traditional JPEG NFTs on OpenSea, but they also have what's called executable NFTs powered by Polygon, and of course the ERC Ethereum 5169 contract. So executable NFTs, they're kind of like multi-dimensional NFTs. They just take the JPEG NFT to the next level. Watch this little video here to get a better idea of what I'm talking about. Your smart cat JPEG NFT is a game. So you can clean your cat, you can feed your cat, you can bathe your cat, you can give your cat cat food, throw your cat in the bathtub, and send your cat on dates with other cats. 
and send your cat on playdates, just chit chat, and make new friends with other cats. Very, very cool. Now let's go back to the website. Now this project, as you can imagine, it's not your typical starter project. Been around for a while. Big name backers, very big. Check this out. They are invested by Crypto.com, the venture capital arm of Crypto.com, top 10 exchange, impressive. And also Mark Cuban invested in this project. Yes, the one and only Mark Cuban from Shark Tank with eight or nine million Twitter followers, a billionaire from the dot-com era, owner of the Dallas Mavericks NFT and NBA team. Yes, he is an investor, and this company does not get better than that. Now let's check out their partner company. So it's Crypto.com, obviously, Ethereum, Polygon, Immutable, Alchemy Pay, Layer Zero, USDC coin from Circle, Pay, uh, from Circle Wallet Connect, Tencent, uh, pretty much every single company here I'm familiar with, Immutable as well, ENS, very, very connected company, a lot of great partnerships. Now let's see the team. As you can imagine, this team has some great backgrounds. This project has been around since 2017. They're all based in Australia. Kind of cool. I don't get too many Australia projects. And they're all little, they're not your typical 26, 27 year olds. These guys are all late 30s to mid 40s. It looks like a variety of great backgrounds in crypto and tech. Check it out. So here's the CMO, Brent Anellis, huge uh, LinkedIn following here, 9,300 followers. He has uh, some tech experience, and he was a product manager at Facebook. Very impressive. Right there, brand manager in 2013 to 2015. Victor Zong, he is the, uh, which one is he? He's the CEO. He's the founder right here. Also from Sydney, as mentioned. He's got a, used to work project lead at Alchemy NFT, Alpha Wallet. Great companies right there. Wai Wu Zong, if I'm pronouncing that correct, he is the CTO. Also from Australia, he used to, let's see, a member of Cointelegraph. He's got some typical other tech experience right here, the banking experience. Very, very solid. Now, if we go back to their Twitter page here, they've done a bunch of big AMAs. They did an AMA with Polygon. Yes, the Polygon, their huge community, did an AMA. About 2,000 people tuned into that. Here they are. That's the web page right there. Mark Cuban follows them, this company, Smart Layer. They've also done some other pretty big AMAs. 3,000 people, that's with uh, Smart uh, with Quicknode. Big, uh, they're a huge old school company right here. About 35,000 followers. They have Miami-based on-chain blockchain sort of scaling company. And that's it for Smart Layer. So remember, they haven't officially announced any token launch or any token sale. It does look like they are gearing up for that at some point soon, as many projects are doing now that the bull market is slowly picking up. My next video will hopefully have some updates on that. Excited to see where this project goes. Do your own due diligence, especially with new projects like this. Drop a comment down below. Let me know if you are familiar with Smart Layer or what you think of them. Hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Back tomorrow with a new video. Ben Crypto signing out. Catch you later.